Vigilantes, my name is Jacksepticeye and welcome back to Resident Evil 7. This might actually be the last episode. I think that this is the last area of the game and I don't know how much of the game is left but I'm pretty sure it's not that much so we might just finish it out in this. I got my badass a powerful pistol with two bullets in it. Um, and if I go out here and go left... No, I have a fuse that I can open that door with. Oh. Shut up, please. Oh, there's one of them right there. See, that's the thing. Now I'm scared of them. I got so used to being able to blow all their fucking heads off for a while. Oh. What this? This had a lock pick symbol on it. Or maybe it just had a lock on it. So let's back through that door. Well, what's on this side? Oh. Well, that was a different door altogether then. Okay, moving on. Don't worry, you didn't see anything. So hopefully we get a bit more of the story then coming up towards the end of this game. Kitchen, dining room, maintenance room, control room. Yeah, I have a fucking better map. Thank you. Who needs paper maps anymore? And why don't any of you people have mobile phones in this game? Isn't it like modern technology times? Okay. It's locked from the other side. Well, that's good! Funneling me through the experience. Because otherwise it's like, ah, shit, where am I? How many rooms have I... Who goes there? Mia, have you uh, even handled a gun before? Do you not handle yourself? Oh, I hear a TV. Oh, hi! Oh, she's sitting right there! Hello! Ah! -ha! Watch it. What? Why? You need to remember so we can be a family. What? What am I watching? Is it fucking Dora or something? I hate Dora. Burn her fucking monkey. That's a save thing, but I can't use it. Okay, I like how she just like turned around in the chair as well. Like, hello, Mr. Bond. I'm glad you met my sharks. <laughs> right, old videotape covered in semen. You didn't hear that, little girl? Even though I don't think you're as innocent as you look. Mia Winter's cabin. Sea transport log, top secret. Woo! October 5th, 2014. Alan, you're getting worse. She must have infected me during the attack. And I'm too far gone anyway. The fuck is Alan? <laughs> but it serves oh. me right. It's my fault she got out. He's got the watch. Yeah, it is your fault. <laughs> but that doesn't mean I'm gonna let you die. <laughs> Good line. She didn't attack you. It's part of her imprinting protocol. I can't believe this is happening. Here. Take it. It has her tissue samples. Oh! You find her. You fix this. Okay, Evie. Where are you? Evie? Evelyn! So it is Evelyn! Okay, machine gun ammo. Dude! I have a fucking P19! It is a P19, isn't it? Yeah! I love these machine guns! Special Operations Division, Division, <laughs> Division and Director together. Director Alan Droney and Caretaker Mia Winters. Mia's a double agent! Recent res reports suggest that if Evelyn remains at her current location, she is at a high risk of being stolen by opposing organizations. Your orders, therefore, are to transfer Evelyn to our Central American branch for safekeeping until further notice. During transfer, be sure to adhere to the following protocols. Act as a parental act as parental guardians for Evelyn at all times to avoid suspicion. That's what the other one said. That Evelyn was on board with her parents. Manage Evelyn's vitals via the genome codex provided. If the mission is compromised beyond reconciliation, dispose of Evelyn. So I guess that's what I'm doing. So Mia is not as innocent as she looks. She's not just our loving wife. She's like a fucking special agent from this organization. 
Is this Umbrella Core? Um, and I have a defense coin. That'll be very handy. Wait, is there anything actually in this fucking supply box? No. It's fucking empty! Then I don't need it! Why is it even there? Aw, oh, man. Do you want to sit down and watch Friends or something? Alan! When <laughs> she says that reminds me of Jurassic Park 3. When <laughs> he hallucinates that the Velociraptor's on the plane with him. And he's just like, Alan! <laughs> it's so good. You should watch Cinema Sins, um, everything wrong with, uh, Jurassic Park 3 as well. Uh, right, where am I going first? There's less doors this way, so we'll, we'll loop around this way. Okay, so, they were transporting Evelyn. Evie, the little girl. But Mia doesn't seem to remember any of this. Ah, oh, this is a lot like, if any of you have played Resident Evil, uh, Revelations. Oh, that's not good. Because Resident Evil Revelations all took place on a ship. Was it Revelations? I don't know. There's so many Resident Evil games, man. I've played most of them, but not all of them. She's close. Target acquired. Well, she's probably in the big room. Yeah, because now I'm getting further away. I'm looking for secrets. You've got secrets. Yes, you do. You've got secrets. How about you? Yes! Give me them herbs and shit, man. What the fuck are these things? It's getting really interesting. We're getting a lot of story now at the end. Supplements. I can use them to make psychostimulants if I get chem flu. And that brings me out this side. Okay. Back to the other room, I guess. This is cool! Man! Machine gun! Awesome! I need to mow some bitches down with this. Well, one in particular, but I, I don't feel right calling a little child a bitch. Even though, is she really a child? If she's a demon spawn? I don't know, man. I'm reluctant to call her a child. Okay, this is getting further away. But it's nice to come in to explore. So that means, yeah, the, the vial that I got, Evelyn Tissue Samples, the E-Series. And I thought that that was like Mia and uh, Ethan, which which is a bit silly. Okay, chem food. I'll I might make some healy items out of you first before I make the supplements. It's locked from the other side. Fuck! Oh wait. Ew! What the fuck? It's like a bunch of brambles. She's vomiting. Maybe she had too much to drink. Damn. I'll have to reset. How's it going? She's vomiting. Far more in excess of her body mass. <laughs> oh, great. <laughs> We're gonna be seeing a lot more of her ugly friends if this keeps up. <laughs> All right. We need to find her and fast. This is getting out of hand. Agreed. Yeah. Dude, that's awesome. Uh... Ring ring. Hello? Uh, I would like 12 inch pizza. What do you think I was talking about? Uh, right. I'm gonna have to start killing things soon. So, does that mean. Because. Wait, no, it's not, oh, wait, if I sprint, it doesn't show me. Does that mean. Because it's the E series, does that mean that there was more? Oh god, there's one. Dude, you would be fucking deaf shooting this thing inside a ship. God! Why is my instinct always to back up and run away instead of block? God, this thing is fucking wildly inaccurate. Because I keep thinking that they have like spiky hands. Blocking with my hands isn't gonna fucking do anything. Even though it does. But the video gamer in me is just like, nah, that's gonna hurt you. Hi! Come back! I'm sick of playing your games. Because the, the series that I got on the... In the cabins was a D series, and then this is an E series. Where'd she go? S2? Ding! Ding ding! God, don't you just hate waiting for elevators? Come on! I fucking knew it! Ah, 
motherfucker! One motherfucker die! I just wasted a whole bunch of ammo there, didn't I? Can you drop some ammo or something? Piece of fucking shit. I wanna go up to two first. Can I? I guess not. Anything else gonna come down here? Anything else gonna tussle with the hustle? Now fuck you up, bro. Okay. Getting close. Fantastic. Evelyn? Could you stop vomiting everywhere? I'm not your mother. I'm not being paid to clean this up. Hello. It's me. I've been wondering why you don't fucking die. That's not the song Adele sang, but that's what I'm feeling right now. Naisu! That is a lot of ammo. Can I have more though? Can I have, like, a different gun? This, this one's cool, don't get me wrong, I appreciate it, but... It kind of sprays everywhere. Ooh, more bullets. That's good too. Ah! Okay, burst fire! Burst fire for accuracy! Here we go! Die, you monstrous piece of anal feces! Okay, I'm assuming in here... No? Oh, I can't go in there anyway. I need some sort of device to open these, but I don't know what it is. Dude, fucking bombs! Ooh, nice I wanna use one! I wanna use it! How do I use one? There we go. R to detonate! Fucking sweet! Oh. Oh, wait. Wait a minute. Where are you? Oh, he is coming this way. Okay. Sorry. I was getting confused. I thought you were gonna come down here and then... You know, everything's all over the place. But, you know what I was thinking? Maybe we should DIE! They didn't kill you! You a strong bitch! Nice. Dude, bombs! Why couldn't I have had those all this time in the other section? That would have been so nice! Imagine fighting the Spider Queen, uh, Marguerite, with those things. You just place them everywhere and then she pops out and it's like, ha ha! Boom! You blow up the whole house. You don't have to worry about where she's hiding then. Had a rough go of it, didn't you, dude? You got the shits. I can see, the, the top of you is clean, but the bottom of you is covered in brown. I know. I had the chicken earlier as well. I think there's something wrong with it. Evelyn! Here, sweetheart! Can you use a bomb on them? You can't use that here. Okay, good. Because I don't want to fucking waste my bombs on it. Ellen, I think she's on the other side of this door. But I don't have a key. <laughs> Try to melt down the lock. <laughs> You're on the bottom level, right? <laughs> Check our luggage. <laughs> I know it's supposed to sound like he's hurt and he's like, oh, God, but it sounds like he's sniggering like near on the bottom level, right? <laughs> check our luggage. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, I'll check our luggage, all right. Oh, I'll check it real fucking good. What, what do we got, though? We got some sort of like Bunsen burner? Corrosive. A strong acid that can dissolve certain metals. Okay, do I need to mix this with anything to make something? Hell no! Just melt the shit out of this. Nice. Trying to think if I should have used that. If I should go back and use it on some some other doors. Ah, that's the symbol it has. Okay, I'm gonna go back to this door. I know backtracking when I should be just moving forward. But there's gonna be super cool items. I'm gonna get like a nuke down here. Just you wait. It's gonna be awesome. I think I'm going the right way. Actually, there's only one way to go. Oh, bits of my friend. No, you're like that bad puddle of mud. Yeah, this one.
Dude. Good call, Jackaroonie. And I got my corrosive back. See? Haters will say it's fake. I don't know what they'll say it's fake. Am I gonna run into somebody else? Or is that gonna trigger a new enemy to try and be like, ha? You went back. I guess not. Emergency exit. Yes, please. Can we just... So this is the ship then that it... Obviously this plan doesn't work because the ship like <laughs> crashed and broke apart and Evelyn got loose in the baker's place. And then she started fucking with them. No, Evie. I'm not mad. Wait. What did you call me? Mommy? I don't want to live at the lab anymore. I want a house. And I want you to be my mommy. Okay, Evie. I'll be your mommy. Just, just come back with me. Right now. Okay? Where are you, Evie? Oh, hi! Sure we live together as a happy family! Baby, <laughs> wait! Balls. Is that gonna trigger some dudes in here? Be fucking closing doors on me! Did you find her? Yes, but she ran off. She's making more friends, Ellen. Those things are everywhere. I told you so. <laughs> are you okay? Yeah, I am. You just worry about not dying. Okay, okay, now this is happening. I didn't want to have to do it, dudes, but you kind of forced my hand. Boom! Asshole! Did I kill the other one? Ah, oh, come on, I wanted to get a two for. I am big on two for one sales of death! You sacks of shit. You look like something that I poop out after my morning coffee. Actually, no. Not really. That was for jokey purposes. Because if I shit that out, I'd be very worried about my health. That smoke effect is awesome. Why didn't I check in here? Oh, wait. This is where I came from. Shut up, Jack. Hello? Do you know the closest way to a McDonald's? I'm fucking starving! Also, die! Thank you. Please don't come again. Oh, ah, 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 I heard him. I heard him. Oh, I heard him and I see him. Shit. Shit. Okay, good, I got both. Nice. Nice as rice. Because it's all about economy. It's all about utilizing what you have to the best of what you can do. Oh, I hate that little girl. You know, on second thoughts, let's not adopt her. But <laughs> Hello, come on. Elevators, man. There's a fuse in this. Can I take the fuse and use it somewhere else? Oh, goody. Emergency safety lockdown system has been engaged. I got it! <laughs> Fucking strong as ox! <laughs> Evie, if you want to be a family, then why are you running away? Alan, are you still okay? Okay, how many crosses do I have? Two. I'm gonna use one on this, and then one on the door. Cause what items? Look at those sexy remote bombs. Hi, hi. I heard you, but I hadn't seen you until you came through the door. Fuck off! <sighs> Me a strong warrior! And I don't mean like, me uh like I am. 
I mean like Mia. Mia, the girl that I am. Okay. Black from the other side. Okay, I'm gonna use a corrosive on this then. I thought the corrosive was on the door. I can has more bombs? I can! I don't trust that fucking grating. Wait, where the fuck am I going exactly? Ah! I'm sorry to disturb you! I know you were just trying to read! Ah, I was holding space! I know you were just trying to read Hunger Games on your Kindle! But fuck you! Fuck off! Fuck off! Here we go. Can I burn this fucking thing down? Okay, I'm hurting, but I don't think... Yeah, I'm only in the yellow. Wait, which direction do I go? Do I go back here? Maybe I should go back to Alan. Wait, isn't that the way I came before? This place confuses me. I'm glad I went back that way though, because I got a lot more bombs. Ah, he's gone. Evie's upstairs. Yeah, so by all means just fucking leave then. Are you? He's not responding. Eh? Um, I've no reason to put anything in here. I'm gonna make another Healy do. Okay, so if Evie's upstairs, am I supposed to take the elevator again? Because how else do I get upstairs? Oh, over here. But it's locked. Or am I just dumb? Actually, when in doubt, Jack's dumb. <laughs> from the other side. Oh, wait. Wait a second. I remember. Isn't there a, a thing that I can crawl up into? The vent that I saw at the start and I thought... Because when it said climb up, I thought that was a thing that I had to hide in. Wait, was it even back here? I thought it was a thing I had to hide in from Evie if she ever came around. Or monsters. It's not here. Where the fuck was I looking? Is it- was it even on this floor? It was, because this is where I started. God! I go back and forth like a gobshite! In here? But that literally just brought me here. Well then. Aren't I fucking lucky? Oh wait, it did bring me to the right place. Never mind, shut up. Leave it now. Don't mention it again. They got me between the two sheltered gates. Bye guys! I'm not hearing anything. But this is where I watched the tape. In current time. In present day. You okay, bro? How did you get here? Where's Evie? She's out of control. Without the treatments, she's deteriorating. Uh, well, it's a good thing we're already dying. The life of the party. Don't say that. She trusts you. That little bitch, she never trusted. Okay, wait. Evie, no, Evie, Evie. Ellen, listen. I didn't mean to call you that. She's Evie, trying to take control. You have to fight her. Oh God. Oh God. Oh God. Ellen, why? Uh. Evelyn, stop! Stop right now! Don't touch me! Don't. Ew! Alan's dead. <laughs> Did she just cocoon me? 
Oh god, now I'm infected! Well, yeah, I guess so, because I had to give Mia the serum earlier. Poor Alan, man. All he wanted to do was smoke cigarettes and do cool shit. What are you telling me? Is this the, the... Like a thing to put our tissue sample in to make a serum? Oh, now I'm limping. Any items? She made the video! Oh! Ethan. You were right. I did lie to you. I shouldn't have. All I can say is that if you get this, stay. Away. Forget that you ever knew me. Have a good life. So, because that's like from the very beginning of the game. That's cool. This is not so cool. This is bad. I want out of this. Oh god! Oh god! Oh god! Oh god! We'll be together forever. Will we now? Oh my god, she's like Alma from like fear. Dude. So, basically confirming what we knew, that she sank the ship. But that was like out in the ocean, wasn't it? And then the flooding happened. Hi. Now do you remember? Yes, Evelyn. I remember. Could we be a family like before? No, Evie. We can't be a family. We were never a family. We will never be a family. Then I don't need you anymore. <laughs> Jesus Christ! What the fuck? Mother of God! Um, yeah, so the, the, the place flood then and it just dragged the, the boat in close to here. And that's what... And then Evie came upon the bakers and started using them. Damn. That was cool though. The contents have been taken. Destroy any subject, yes, must be placing a sample into the necroxin container. I don't know. Do I have to put her tissue samples in there? Okay, wait. I assume I have to go into the elevator, but I'm going in here just to try and see if I can get anything. Yeah, like herbs. It looks broken. Yeah, probably. Machine gun ammo, but I don't have the machine gun. And I don't have lock pick. God dang it. Yeah. Can't be used here, right. We're still on the look for Ethan. To find his sorry ass. Oh god. Oh god, we're on top of the elevator. I would hate that. Being on the ladder, not so much. But if the elevator dropped... Oh, I don't want to think about it. This is a ladder to heaven, apparently. Oh. 
Oh, I hate that. I hate that long look down. Because you always think that something's going to happen when you look up again. Maybe it still works. Sure does. That's where I was. Elevator. Ethan. Ugh. Oh, that's Ethan! I hope I make it in time. Okay. Got him Dude, bro! He's in S2. Do <laughs> I oh, fucking Jesus! Stop it, Evelyn! I hate this little girl! Oh, fucking hallucinations. Where is she? Oh yeah. She's not actually teleporting and shit, she's just projecting or she's in your head when she infects you so you start imagining her everywhere I think that's how it works because at the start Mia said that she's inside me I can hear her get stay away whatever that's fucking cool a big ass ship remote bombs man I'm so glad these things are just lying around cabin. Oh, I need a key. The machine gun's in there. Ship map. Nice. And a lug wrench. Did I come across lug nuts? You're not. You're not. Uh, no. <laughs> I need to find a key. Oh, hey. Nice! Ah, oh, I used a fucking bullet on him. I only had two! Oh, I forgot because the other section had like a shit ton of ammo and bullets and everything. This one doesn't. You can fit through there! Oh, thank god you don't take fall damage. Or at least not from there. Ah, there's a lug nut. How convenient! And hops a daisies. Oh, I'm hearing bad sounds. Lewis or Louis, the cable is completely fried. We the cable is completely fried. We had a replacement, but we had to use it to fix something in the three third floor sick bay. You're going to have to go ask Doctor Waddle. Oh, Doctor Waddle for it. I'm needed down in number two engine room, but I can't get down there unless we get this thing working, Dwayne. Oh, I need the fuse. It's missing a fuse and a cable. Got it. Well, there's a knife. Did one of those things walk past as I was in there? Okay. I only have one bullet in this, so I probably shouldn't have this out. I corroded all these fucking things. Oh, Jesus, 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 Jesus. Come on out that door, Sonny Jim. Yeah, fuck you. Did I get you? Yeah. Now microwave his ass. These are chem fluid in the microwave. That's terrible. Gunpowder. Okay, so I'm guessing I can make more bombs. I guessed. Incorrectly. Make more handgun bullets, though. Sixteen years since the nightmare of Raccoon City. The survivors are still suffering. Cool, it tied it back. It's like a staple of Resident Evil. Now this is open. I don't want to go in there, though. It's scary. Why? 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 Make my life easy, please. Actually, that did. Come on out. I would like to play. You want to play a game called Find Your Testicles? Oh, so sad, dude. You didn't find them. You didn't find a whole ass worth of exploding, though.
Oh. Oh, that's why I hear it. Oh, I couldn't come in here before. A herb. Nice. -oo. Um, make you and you. Uh, make you and you. Here we go. Nice. Ah, shit. It's a puzzle. To open this. Ah, uh, I don't know what the- I don't know what the answer is! Oh wait, I just copy these. Right? Yeah. And then... That wasn't so hard! I thought I had to move these ones as well. Nice! Super handy! Well, that's where she puked before. Machine gun bullets. Nothing else. Kind of put my head in the oven and forget about this. Hmm. Hi! I don't trust the strength of this handgun! It's not bad! You unlocked it! Okay, god, there's so many like different ways to go. I just want to make sure I get all the items on each level. Okay, this is where I was before. Same message. And a save! And a corrosive. Nice! A defense coin! No. So I should be able to take more hits now. Sweet Caroline! Uh uh oh! Where is Ethan when you need him? Right, so I can't go down that way, so I'm guessing I'm gonna have to go back. Okay, I'll open this. Unless it's open already. No, yeah. Here and shit. Captain's locker key. See, it's worth searching around. Um, was there another thing in here that I had to corrode? No, I think it was back upstairs. Right. Go back into the elevator and up to the captain's quarters. Oh, 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 God, fucking quick reflexes there, Jack boy. Oh, hate those dudes. Those ones are the worst because they're so hard to deal with. Oh, why? 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 Says I. Ah! That works! Machine gun! Wait, what else did I get? Is it a remote bomb? I think so. I didn't see it. I tried to pick up the machine gun first. Alrighty, now I'm ready to fucking kick some A. Um, yeah, there was something down in the third floor that I couldn't get to. And a lockpick thing. Can I get back down there? Down we go! Ah! Ah! Oh yeah, it was when I turned around here. Turn around, turn around, turn around. There we go. I want to get all the items possible. It's a lot of backtracking, it's a lot of looking around. But it's worth it in the end. So that means I'm going to have the max ammo that I have for like final bosses and shit like that. What secrets do you hold inside? Can I open that? Whoa. That's fucking cool. I am a fan of that. You're not anything, right? No. Oh, I don't like it. Okay, you know what we're gonna do? Preempt. Put that down there. And if something chases me, run away. Okay, maybe not down there. And I need to be careful as well, because reload is to detonate them. So I could be stupid and end up hitting reload 
just because I want to reload something and then boom, I'm dead. Uh, enhanced ammo? Do I need it? Should really deposit some of this. Oh, 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 oh no, it's one of the big ones. Oh no, it's one of the big ones. Ah! Come on. Son of a fucking vomity bastard. Die, motherfucker. Ah, God almighty! Ugh. Smelly bastard! You smell like shit! Oh, the cable. Ugh. What I was gonna say is that I should really put some of the stuff that I have as Mia back into the the box, right? Because then I can use it as Ethan. Well, that's. I'm assuming that I change back to Ethan. Okay, I can't open that. So is that done? Oh, I had to come here anyway to get the power cable, so... It wasn't just me looking around for extra shit. It was me actually doing what the game was telling me to do. That's always good. Why couldn't I just open that door? Isn't that the door that's right here? Couldn't I just unlock it from this side? Please don't tell me that was a thing I could have done and I'm stupid. It's okay, it's done, we're past it, get over it. Still didn't get a lockpick though. Mm. Oh well. Put the power cables in there. Nice suit. Up into the fresh- you might notice- oh wait, you can't see it, but I'm wearing my, my Resident Evil 7 shirt as well. I thought- I thought I'd be on brand for the- for the final episode. That was a fuse, right? That was a lockpick. Oh, now I have to go back to the other fucking place. Go back to the other place now with the lockpick and get that. Oh, it's even in you. An antique coin. Well, aren't I just elated? Whoa! So I got my fuse back down here on the first floor where I where I started out as Mia. Now I got a new backpack. Nice. Well, I guess it's her first backpack, right? It's not the same backpack as Ethan had. And then it all stacks. Oh, fucking remote bombs. Yes, sir, please. Ah, oh, nice. I had to corrode that door. Because remember, I couldn't get into it when I started before. Can I go down here? No. Okay! But wait. I can't go back through there, so how do I- Like, the fuse opens this door. But when you- When you take the fuse, it locks. So there must be another way around, right? Hopefully- Oh, yeah, you. Sorry, dude. I'm gonna just save over your dead corpse? If that's alright with you. No objections. I need to find a fucking way out of this place then. Climb up. Where? Ah! They just go straight into the elevator then. Nice! And then I can put the fuse in and I'm away in a hack. Fuck yeah! Sweet! S2, please! Not 2F! Yeah, I was on four. I've been to all the places and I think I've searched them all rigorously. He's waiting. Uh I I know. I'm coming to get him. But you better shut up. Oh god. Ah, motherfucker. Oh, I was about to hit R just to reload. I have such a habit of pressing reload from playing like First-person shooter games. Like, I, you can't see it, but I'm constantly just pressing R to reload to make sure I have the max amount of capacity or the max amount of ammo in my clips each time. 
So I almost hit it there. I would have killed myself. Music, I don't like what you're doing. No, oh, I hate these ones. These are the worst ones. Never mind. I am awesome. So many fucking bombs, dude. Just in case. Someone's gonna show up. Yep. There it do. Come on, buddy! Come to the party! Blow out the candles! Surprise! You're fucking dead. Oh, fuck! Oh, God! I'm putting fucking three of these bad boys down for this motherfucker. I did it. I did it. I did the fucking thing I said I keep doing. Pressing reload. When I don't need to be pressing reload. What the fuck is wrong with me? Oh, I just wasted fucking three of them for nothing! Come on through! You big piece of fucking waste of ammo! Can you- can you hold up your watch or something so I can see your health? Maybe not- See, I'm always pressing R! I even did it just now when I switched back to my gun to make sure I'm full ammo. It's fine. It's happened. We're past it. Why is it R? Better yet, why am I able to use the guns when I have the bombs placed? I shouldn't be blaming the game for my stupidity. Just give me back my bombs. An antique coin! I don't fucking need those! Cargo bay? I made the right decision coming in here. She's getting more infected, isn't she? Her arms seem to be getting blacker. Okay, I got my remote bombs back. I mean, yeah, I should have more. Hi! Can I fucking shoot you in the face? What's that? Ethan? Ethan. 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 Hey, shh, shh, shh. I know, I know, I know. I'm not gonna hurt you. Hell, I never would have if I could have helped you. But what do you mean? I'm no killer, son. Neither is Marguerite, uh, nor my boy Lucas, or even Zoe here. That girl, Evelyn, she did this. What the hell is she? Now, what did she do to you? She infected us with her gift. That's what she calls it. I found her near a busted out tank in the bayou. Everything changed after that. So she infects you and then she takes control? No. Not exactly, son. She just... <sighs> she forces a way into your mind. Your soul. You can't fight back. You are connected to her, and you can't resist the urge to. Oh, you're a little different person after that. Just like Mia. So Mia sent me that message because of Evelyn. Listen, the girl just wants a family of her own. She's the key, all right? You find her, and you stop her. Ethan. Free my family. Please. I feel so bad for them now. They didn't want to attack me. 
stay away from him. Why? He doesn't love you. Oh, I'm Ethan again. I can make him love you. Don't. Don't hurt him. Silly, I told you I'm not gonna hurt him. Don't you dare. So what? <laughs> You're not my mom. Remember? Hey, baby! <laughs> oh, it's just like aliens when they like stick people to the walls and face hugger them. There's no time. You have to get out of here and find her. Here, take this. What? Wait, wait, what are you doing? What are you doing? Saving your life. Oh, no! You need to go. I won't be able to resist for much longer. No. Now go kill that little bitch. No. No. Oh, Mia. isn't that the no. thing you're not supposed to call her? Oh, I didn't see what happened. Oh, don't tell me Mia's gone. She gave me the, the E series. Oh, God, I have nothing. Okay, you little bitch. What the fuck? I really should have put something in the supply box, shouldn't I? Ugh. Does that mean I can't get the machine gun and stuff now because it was on thingy? Oh shit. This is bad. Where's all my stuff? My magnum and my shotgun and everything. Really like those. Choppers. Where the fuck am I? Fish are all dead. I can move them around. Ew. <gasps> this is weird. Oh, oh, poor little sea bass. Oh god, I thought I had to climb up that. <laughs> I don't like this. But wait, if Ethan can see Evelyn as well, doesn't that mean that she's inside his head? So I thought they were like hallucinations, or can she just do that anyway? Abercrombie Salt Mine, South Dulvey. There's a chopper. Are they watching us from that helicopter? There's symbols on that. Ah, oh, I can't see them very well. Alpha oh, one, this is Bravo one. Do you read? This is Alpha one. Report. Did you find anything? A thorough search of the Baker property revealed zero survivors. Repeat, zero survivors. We did find evidence of a skirmish. It was me. Negative. However, we did find several encrypted messages from the Baker's son, Lucas, to an unknown third party. You can probably guess who that was. That's just great. We've had reports using the abandoned mine south of the property. I'm gonna go have a look. Roger that. We'll meet you at those coordinates. If you encounter Evelyn, orders are shoot to kill. Repeat, shoot to kill. Damn. Okay, I don't have the antique coins here. This is the lab. Swamp ship. Okay, are all my things in here? You've taken me as things. Oh, thank God. Sweet. I don't know if I need the corrosive anymore. Um, a small standard power handgun acquired on the wrecked ship. Yeah, which is stronger? Take my defense coin, my first aid. More handgun ammo, enhanced handgun ammo, first aid. Oh god, now I don't know what to pick. Um, the remote bombs, anyway, because they were they were awesome. Machine gun ammo. I don't really have room for a whole lot. Okay, I can make some stuff though. Take these and I'll make some strong meds. I don't know if I need my my knife. 
And I do- where's my M19? There it is. I'm not gonna take the 44 mag yet, well... This is the thing, I don't know what's gonna happen here, so... If like, boss fight happens... Then I'll know to come back and load this, because the idea of the magnum in these games- Oh wait, I don't even have fucking magnum ammo, do I? Shotgun shells, why am I bringing them? Um... I don't have any magnum ammo, so it's pointless. Cause the idea of the magnums, usually in the... In these games, is that... You bring the magnum for the boss fights, because you don't get enough ammo, it's rare ammo, so you don't use it on like, regular enemies. Oh, I have loads of first aid, what am I doing? Um... Okay, get rid of you for a sec. Do I have any solid fuel? Because well, I can't bring my grenade launcher either. I have to very be very select about my weapons. I could swap out the machine gun for the the handgun, and then bring the grenade launcher or something. Because that kind of takes the place of the handgun anyway. But I have a lot of handgun ammo. Hmm. There we go. I think I did everything that I needed. I have a slot for um. You've reached the maximum number of save slots. Oh. Oops. <laughs> there we go. I have... Psychostimulants as well that I can kind of get rid of. I use my coins in this too, so... Well, we should be good. It's only- I only brought the handgun because I have so much ammo for her. Normally I just use the machine gun now instead. Because it kind of serves the same purpose. Ooh, mag ammo. It's only one, but it's it's worth it. Put you in there for a sec. Because there's a lot of planning that has to go into these things. A lot of a lot of wondering what next. I might just use my psycho stimulants on the way down to make sure I don't miss anything. Uh, where did I put them? Oh dear. Oh, two of them. Yeah, so I might as well just use one now. See. I'd miss items only for that. Does everything have full ammo? Yes. Drag you up in there. Brady! There's so much shit everywhere. Oh, I don't have fucking room for any of this! February 18th, 1892. This is fucking ages ago. There was a collapse in the Patterson mine. Twan and Beckford are dead, and Huxley will never walk on his own again. Old man Stan was right. The ground there is too unstable. The company's not going to send us any replacements. They want us to work double shifts instead. I can't wait to get back to the old country. Okay, poor dudes. What's up, fellas? How are you on this fine day? It's good to see you out and about. I'm wasting my, my handgun ammo first because I have, like, a lot of it. Fuck off, you piece of shit! I have to run really far away too, because they keep doing extendo arms on me and I don't like that. I think I'm pretty fucking geared up, which usually means one thing. Which is a boss fight is about to happen at some point. Oh god, there's more of them. Okay, enhanced ammo, here we go. Oh shit. There we go. The old two-shot kill! Well, it should have been, but I hit him in the fucking arm. Chem food, I don't have enough space. I don't even have a knife on me. Burner fuel, okay, good. Maybe I should use that more. Burner fuel, okay, I see. I see what you're saying to me, strong chem fluid. See, I don't know if I'm able to come back here or not. Or if I should get them and then go back. Probably. Just in case I can't come back here. What's behind door number elevator? There's nothing! You want a brand new car! Okay, I'm taking my burner out this time because I want to burn some bitches. flamey -o. Why did it get so freaking dark all of a sudden? Oh, I'm going down! 
That would make sense since it said that I was going down into the depths or something like that. Move forward. There we go. Probably should have left some space in my inventory. But I'm hoping that attacking a lot of these dudes... Ow! And using up some ammo will give me some free space! I don't know if he's gonna jump. Well, he can't fucking jump now. He's no face! It's so creepy. They keep crawling after that. Oh. There we go. Lucas! What are you up to, bro? Where to fight him? I forgot that Lucas was a thing in this game. Hey, be watchful. Ah, oh, God, they're everywhere. Oh, God. Oh, Jesus Christ! Uh-oh, I didn't fucking see the one behind me and I kept backing up. That was stupid. Burn, bitches! Burn! Please, please, please burn! God, you take a lot of damage. There, this thing just doesn't do a whole lot. Well, you take a lot of damage because you're a stronger one. How am I in health? Ugh. Not great. I have six of these. My little, my little goop juice, my little cactus juice. Okay, still don't have enough space. That's fine. I didn't want space anyway. Sounds are creepy. Oh, this place looks confusing. I don't like it, sir. Can I have directions? Shit! I should not have this thing out. I should be going with a little old double barrel. Not good. Peach. How am I in health? Okay, I'm in the yellow. Still good. I wanted to save the shotgun for bigger enemies, but if you guys are all going to gang up on me like that, then you don't really leave me a whole lot of choice. Don't do that. Push. Ah, uh, maybe I could have crushed him if I pushed him. Is there other ones? I'm hearing some. Oh man, that would have been a cool place to hide some items. Hi! Fuck you! Try not to get lost in this fucking place. I'll go down there. That's fine. I'm gonna go back. The whole area I haven't actually seen. Or I didn't even try, but. The thing about this game is that there's a lot of back and forth, there's a lot of actual exploration going on. I really like that. Oh, I should have just come in here and got my fucking bombs. Dude, it's a field day up here. And some... Magnum ammo, I don't fucking know. Oh, why can't I just get rid of the fucking Evelyn tissue and give it back to me in another box somewhere? And I'm trying to like run down some of the ammo. But I haven't freed up a slot yet, damn it. Okay. Remember Magnum ammo. I'll, I'll fucking forget that. Wait, I should have my- I should use my machine gun. There's a bomb on this. Fuck you, Lucas. Piece of ace. I was gonna say I'm gonna shoot all these in case there's bombs in them, but I kinda have to. I don't have much choice. Because I don't have my knife on me. This place is cool, it reminds me of the last area in Outlast. There are fucking bombs in these. Oh, this is one hell of a lab, dude. You're going meth in here? Since Friday, January 16, 2015. 
So the game, I think, apparently takes place in 2017. I think it takes place in, in current time. Um, because it was 20... 2014, and then Mia was missing for three years. In some of her logs. Thanks to you guys, it's been about a week since my head's been clear and back to normal, and she still thinks she's got me. You guys really need to work on fixing that. Not only does she look like a little kid, but she's about as stupid as one too. Mom and Dad are still totally under though. I was wondering, is this whole family obsession something you guys programmed into her? It's kind of fucked up. That bitch Mia is still somewhere in between Evie La La Land and reality. She gets pretty violent so I locked her up in a cell. I thought maybe Evelyn would get mad since Mia's her favorite and all, but she doesn't seem to care. She actually goes and visits her sometimes. She thinks Mia's her mommy. Like I said, your bioweapon is fucked up. So, some company, probably Umbrella Corps or somebody affiliated with them, are making all of this. Evelyn's family obsession is getting out of hand. She's making everyone kidnap more and more assholes off the street to add to her freak show of a family. Maybe she's getting tired of Mia not coming around, but it's a pain in the ass for me because I gotta clean up the mess whenever someone new comes along. By the way, Evie's looking sick or something. Her skin is getting all wrinkly and she's getting grey hairs. Is that supposed to happen? It's almost like she's getting old all of a sudden. Fucking told ya! Evie's the granny! So she's like rapidly aging? So she's not actually old, she just looks like she's old. And apparently Lucas was never under the control? Infection report? Oh. This report details the symptoms that appear when the bacterium that grows inside of the E-Series infects a human. Be sure to read this document thoroughly before dealing with E-Series weaponized acids hereafter referred to as mold. Initial infection. The mold ingests nutrients from the subject's body to propagate itself and slowly takes over cells within the body. As a side effect of this, the infected subject gains remarkable regenerative abilities, which we've seen. During experiments, we removed arms and legs from test subjects and found that they were able to co-apt the amputated limbs in a number- in a matter of minutes. Once the mold reaches the brain, the subject's thoughts become in tune with those of the E-series acid. The subject starts to hear things and experience hallucinations, and soon comes under complete control of the E-series acid. If this state continues, the host will lose all sense of ego. Complete infection. After every cell in the body has been taken over by the mole, the subject begins to lose their human form. Physical mutations differ from, sub from case to case, but all result in him or her acquiring incredible physical strength. Containing a subject at this stage would be extremely difficult. So there you have it, the stages. Which we've basically seen. Ten minutes after dose, death. 12 minutes after dose, cell calcification. We've seen that happen as well with, um, when we injected the serum into Jack and that we killed Marguerite, they calcified. E necrotoxin, E series dosage test. Five minutes after dose, vomiting. Okay. Target acquired! There we go! Nice. E necrotoxin. Destroy cells of any subject based on the E series bioweapon model. Use only for disposal of E series acids. The toxin must first be stimulated before use. Do this by placing a sample. Okay, did it. Nice! So, this is what we use to get rid of granny. Fuck yeah. Oh god, this is a fucking seven page document. Right! This project was instigated in 2000 as one of several concepts for the company's NEXBAS, Next Generation Experimental Battlefield Superiority Initiative, working with technical assistance from HCF to develop a bioweapon for neutralizing combatants en masse with minimal direct contact. NEXBAS was later folded and all its assets diverted to this project. What makes this project markedly different from conventional weapons is its ability to turn enemy combatants into allies, converting hostile elements into willing servants. Since this effectively el eliminates the cost of not only POW handling, but also combat itself. It's no wonder we had the blah, and even blah as blah, organization chomping at the bit to get on board. The project would never have existed were it not for the discovery in blah of blah, the remarkably progressed vicariant evolution fungus that we commonly term the mutamicete. Okay. 
The fabrication method for each bioweapon was to introduce the mutamicete genome to a pre-stage 4 human embryo and perform cultivation in a controlled environment over a period of 38 to 40 weeks. The resultant organisms were referred to as candidate specimens and graded based on usability from the impractical and faulty. Series A through D to the perfected E series, a common appearance was selected for the bioweapons that of a roughly 10 year old girl to ensure ease of blending in with urban refugee populations. So, she was basically grown in a lab. The first E series specimen named Evelyn has, of course, Evelyn E series, has proved capable of searching the mutamicete blah from her tissue at will, from secreting. It is also of note that Evelyn's mutamicete imposes a profound control over body and mind when introduced into a host organism. We will have a lot to learn about the mechanism by which Evelyn achieves and maintains this control, but the working theory is that the vector is similar to auto-inducer pheromones used for quorum sensing in Pseudomonas bacteria. Evelyn's control is exerted in a series of discrete stages, the first of which is hallucination. Almost immediately after infection, the subject begins to see images of Evelyn, though she is not in fact there, and even hear her voice, which is inaudible to anyone else. So, we saw that with Mia on the ship. Auditions with infected subjects throughout the stages of infection revealed that, at first, the phantom Evelyn appears to be a normal young girl. Sometimes desiring companionship or assistance, as time progresses, she begins making more and more extreme demands, including self-mutilation and attacks on other people. So we saw that with the Baker family. The psychological shock this induces helps to break down the mind's natural barriers to Evelyn's brainwashing effect. By the time mental control is achieved, the mutamicete infection has progressed throughout the body cells, so the body... Blah. So, there's some information on that that's been crossed out that we're not allowed to know, or shouldn't know. But there you have it! God, there's so much fucking... Yeah, uh, this is kind of annoying because all the exposition is kind of happening at the end. It's like, oh, here's all the information you needed to know. Read all this. Evelyn's functions also include the ability to form organisms from mycelia, the fungal filaments. The term organism is used loosely here. Strictly speaking, these are superorganisms formed of countless mycelia. What's important, though, is that they exhibit a strong survival instinct and will defend themselves ferociously with the slightest provocation. Their fungal toughness and remarkable strength give them sufficient, significant battlefield potential. Are these the mold? Yeah, molded. The researchers have been calling these superorganisms the molded, made of mold and also molded as in shaped. The name has a certain elegance to it. For the treatment of accidental infections, performing blah on samples of Evelyn's body tissue produces a unique fungicidal serum. I just made it. It was green. Green hair, green septicism. Administering the serum to an infected subject will cause the mycelia to calcify, but if the subject's cells are already largely invaded, the serum will be fatal. Since the treatment window is so small, the serum's primary use is therefore disposal of infected subjects rather than a cure. But I used a D series on Marguerite, uh, or not a Marguerite, on Mia, and I used it on Jack. So were they not infected by Evelyn then? Or does it just still work anyway? Because this is the first E series serum I've had. In exploring the serum's potential, we found that subjecting it to blah would enhance its effects to extreme potency, becoming a compound we now call E necrotoxin, which blah, in even tiny amounts. What's been interesting to observe is in Evie's behavior is her obsession with the concept of family. In experiments, we found on multiple occasions that infected subjects were compelled to act as her mother or father, treating her as if she were really their daughter, like Jack and Marguerite did. Why did she settle upon family as the theme for her mental control? This is just speculation, but it could be that she instinctively understands that a family unit is better suited to blend into social groups than a lone girl. On the other hand, well, a sentimental sort might suggest that she's making up for a perceived lack of love in her quarantined upbringing, a parent's love. Seems all pretty self-explanatory, don't you think? Like, from all the stuff we've been seeing, can I put this in now? No, of course not, I can't put anything in. I get rid of some of my handgun ammo. Because I have a lot of enhanced. I got flame rounds, but I can't really... take my grenade launcher... with me. If I use it instead of the burner. The burner's not really doing a whole lot. I have a lot of machine gun ammo. But all the ammo I have for my pistol left, 
our enhanced ammo, which is really strong. I don't know what to get rid of. If anything. Put the flame rounds there. We'll, we'll save for now. And see. Wasn't there stuff in here that I could have gotten? There was herbs. So just pick them up and go. Open, please! I'm gonna keep playing, by the way, until we finish this out. I know this is probably a longer episode, but I feel like the finale should probably be longer anyway. Because there's more happening in them. We got a lot of information there on Eevee and everything that was going on. Yes, yeah, see, I have fucking chem fluid and everything. Okay, I have strong chem fluid. So... Let me do a thing for a second. Strong chem fluid and supplements. I just used the fucking strong chem fluid. God damn it. I could have made some Nero toxin or whatever it's called rounds. N Neuro rounds. Okay, we'll just see what happens anyway. I could have gone back and got the magnum ammo actually. I probably should have done that. Oh, this is all dusty and spory down here. More bomb, chem fluid. God fucking damn it, man. I have so much shit. I have too much shit now. All my hoarding of items. It's coming back to bite me in the ass. Into the spooky caves, I guess. That's Evelyn singing. She was singing at another point in the game as well. Magnum ammo. This is the thing, if I'm going into a boss fight, I need to know. Because I would really like to bring my grenade launcher and my magnum ammo with me. Instead of some of the shit that I have. Ah, fuck it, we'll see. I don't even know if I can use- No thanks! She's not like fucking Reaper from Overwatch. Ew, 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 ew! Fuck! Okay, okay. Shit, I don't have them equipped. Go in there. Ah, fuck! Fuck, 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 fuck. put one there. There we go, put one there. There we go, put one there. I kind of need to use these up. Can you fucking die, please? Jesus Christ! Okay, I used them up. That's good. I needed to do that. What am I at? Oh, I need fucking health. I'm doing this as well. Because I want to use up these ones. I don't want to use up the strong ones. The strong ones are going to be for boss fights. There, green health. Okay, and now we're gonna start using up pistol ammo. All about economics. And if we free up enough space... <laughs> uh, killing all these dudes. Oh shit, I don't have- I don't have the good ammo out! I only have four shots left in this, so... Why the fuck not? Okay, okay. Fuck you guys! You suck! I'm trying to hit the dude behind you! Oh god! Cause then I can go back and free up space to use my magnum and use my grenade launcher and all that stuff. Or maybe not, cause I fucking picked up a herb. Evelyn! We can talk about this! Not really though, I don't want to. Probably should be using my thingy, actually. Because this does less damage. Ah, God, I didn't think he'd hit me from there. So use the guns that do less damage first. So I can save the ammo of the strong ones for the boss fights. It's all about using your noodle. You gonna shake the place again? Don't do it. 
I don't like it when you do it. I'm just picking up more shit. <laughs> Stop it, game! <laughs> I'm trying to be smart about this and you're just fucking front-loading me with everything. You don't have enough space. Of course I don't. Okay, let's fight some more dudes. Ah, good! Fuck, 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 fuck! Hi! How's it going? I'm trying to make sure nothing spawns behind me. Fuck you! Fuck off! God! God, there's so many of you! I guess to be expected! <laughs> well, I'm doing exactly what I said I do. Burning through ammo. It's kind of fun. It's kind of fun having so much ammo that you can just fucking. Bah, 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 okay, and I'm hurt a little, so I'm gonna use this. Yeah, back in the green. The green bean, back in the green. The green septic man. Did I pick up that magnum ammo that time? Yeah, I did. Okay, if I could just have like five magnum shots for a boss fight, that'd be great. You're not scaring me, Eevee! So get ready to kick your ass soon. Oh, it's a big one. Oh, it's more than one big one! Oh shit! Shit, wrong button! Ah, fuck, fuck, fuck! Oh, fuck, Nugs. Ah, Christ! Goop! Goop it up! Give me some cactus juice! Fucking hell. Ah, fuck! I hate these things! Oh, God, they're fucking all around me! My nose is itchy! What am I supposed to do? Fuck you, dude! Okay, ah, oh, they're fucking vomiting everywhere! Can you stop that? I didn't- I clicked that way before- ah! Run, Ethan! What's happening? I'm stuck! Goop it up! Okay, reload, 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 distance! Okay, I probably should focus one! Mother of Christ! These guys suck! No, oh, fucking finally explode, you big fat bitch! Did that hurt you? Thank God! Jesus Christ! That certainly fucking freed up some space, didn't it? Use some first aid. You better not be accidentally using the the really good ones. Man! I used so much of my shotgun ammo for that fight. I didn't like that. But it's done. It's complete. Did I get the thing out of that? Yeah. Those guys sucked! They're so strong. Hopefully that's the last we see of them guys. Famous last words. We did all right, though. We we did good for ourselves. No items. How, how do you know you're going the right way, Ethan? You could be going anywhere at this point. That's a lot of shit. Mind map and a save. A save, but a no thingy. A no item box. That fucking sucks! <laughs> There's Granny's wheelchair! She's not in it! And the doll. We found that at the start. Are we back in the house? This is where I found the doll! 
We're back where Mia, like, disappeared. Okay. Ah! It's not here. It's gone. It's gone. And now we can see what actually happened. Or maybe not. E001. It all makes fucking sense. Can I go back this way? Nope. I wanna go back into the house and relive my memories. Ah, oh, this is cool coming back here. Zoe! I missed your calls now! Sorry about the whole not curing you thing. No hard feelings? <laughs> yeah, don't worry, I remember. Mia? Why can't I do anything with her? Am I hallucinating? Yeah. This is your fault. Why am I saying this? You're straight up infecto, bro. Anything in here? Anything at all? No. Fine. Fuck. Oh, I don't want to see me losing my own hand again. Shoot her! Kill her! Ethan, oh, Jesus! It's okay. It's okay. It's me. She got me again. I know you didn't mean to hurt me. Kill him, mommy. Oh, but you shouldn't have done that! Oh, that's cool. It fucking hurts! Does it want to be my daddy? Then he can die. I hate you, little girl. It's mommy's turn to kill you. But she didn't kill me. She just took my hand and I got that back. So, ha! Huh? Let's go upstairs. Or can I actually just fucking leave? <laughs> uh, is leave possible? You're gonna be one of us. And then maybe you'll play nicely. I don't I'm think so. Playing. No! Get that away from me! <laughs> oh! 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 Jesus Christ! Leave me to die! Wait, you're not real! Oh god. Oh god. Okay, this is annoying. This is fucking weird. I don't like this. I'm hallucinating all of my heebies. Just let me leave. Ah, come on. I have to go upstairs. Let me end the nightmare. <laughs> What's up? Nice to see you again. Hi. I'm not that scared of uh, hallucinations. Weirdly enough. Hello. Stay away. No. Fuck you. Shoot. Shoot on her stupid child face! Okay, I'm actually getting hurt this time. Ah! Space Tigard! Here we go! No! I'm coming for you! I'm still taking damage though, so I should probably heal. Go, get her! Get her, Ethan! Get her! Come here! Stab her! No, no, no! Stab her with the deadly neurotoxin. Yes! I have a feeling that's not it, though. You. Of course! Oh, everyone hate me? <laughs> Ew. <Goodbye>. Ew. <laughs> Well, of course it is, you're fucking melting! 
Oh, shit. Oh, that's not good. Ethan, what did you do? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Ah, oh, shit. Ah, oh, shit. Well, boss fight's happening, I guess. Shoot her in her fucking face! Okay, is she getting closer? Oh, this is not a good look for you! This is not good for me either! Ow! Fuck! Ow! 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 Block! Block, please! What the fuck? I think we pissed off the wrong granny! Shit, and me without my magnum. Oh, God, Mother of Christ. Keep shooting, Ethan. Just keep shooting. Ow, I blocked it. Reload faster, Ethan. We go. Ah, Christ. Ouch! Ouch! Ow! Oh, fuck! Okay! 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 Fair enough! Fair enough! Whatever! Yeah, and I just wanted to save my fucking wife! Why does nobody think about my feelings? Yes! Oh, yeah. I thought I forgot I was high up. Well, that's handy. Ow, 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 ow. Can I goop? Can I juice? Use it! Oh, it's Colin Albert. Oh, it's Wesker's gun. Oh, that's cool. Can I goop or anything? Holy fucking shit! Jesus Christ! She did! I did it! Suck it, Granny! Oh, she looks like a troll who's seen the sunlight. And there's the calcification that they were talking about. I don't know, Granny. Seems like you're going to pieces. <laughs> yeah! We did it! Hello? Glad you could help. Redfield. Chris! I'm glad we found you. Or maybe a relative. Yeah. Is that Chris? What the fuck took you guys so long? <laughs> Very good question. Dude. Ethan? Mia! Mia. You made it. I'm glad. Did I? Yay! They say that when one door closes, another opens. Well, a door closed tonight. And what a long night it was. But not just for me. Me and I weren't the only victims here. So were the bakers. It was that thing 
Evelyn, who made them that way. Umbrella. But now Evelyn's dead. And these guys are here to clean up the mess. I had just come to terms with losing Mia. But now she's back and wants to start over. Put all this behind us. Maybe this is where the next door opens. It's like the end of Jurassic Park. <laughs> yeah! Good fucking shit! That was awesome! What's happening? Oh, credits. Right? Man! That was a good ass game! Not only was it a, a fucking good game, it was a good Resident Evil game! Which I didn't think would happen again. Because ever since Resident Evil 4, which Manny considers to be the best Resident Evil, and I'd agree, it's one of- It's not only one of the best Resident Evils, it's one of the best games ever made. Because it has, like, such a good combat loop, it has such a good sense of pacing and everything. And then 5 came out and everyone was like, it's like 4, but it's a bit weirder. And it's a bit worse. Um, not, not an awful game, it was just not up to par. And then 6 came out and it tried a bunch of shit and it didn't really work. Some people like it, I didn't. And then, this one was coming out, and this one was first person, everyone's like, Oh, God, I don't know. I don't know if that's gonna be good. And they fucking nailed it. They, they had such a good blend of old meets new in that game. And I talked about a lot of stuff while I was playing it. How... Like, at times it felt like PT. It felt like Outlast. It felt like... Old first Resident Evil. Um... Especially the, the HD remake that came out. There was a lot of like, go here, put your items in this box, then get your best weapons and get ready for this boss fight that's about to happen downstairs. And the boss fight was like a giant snake and stuff like that. Like that, they really captured that and I was really worried that that wouldn't be in it and I'm really glad it was. Because when you start fighting just regular humans, it was kind of like, eh. I don't know, is it just going to be like an outlast type of thing where I'm just escaping the bakers. This is just gonna be hide and seek all the time, but I'm really glad it was a sense of like getting new weapons, upgrading your weapons, upgrading your health and all that stuff. Because that's at the core, that's very Resident Evil. And I'm glad that there was boss fights and everything in it. Super cool. And as a survival horror game, it was really damn good. With the the item management that was going on, even though I was doing a lot of item management at the end that I didn't even need it. All I needed was my shotgun at the end. And that tied, tied me over, but Really cool, I'm really glad what they did with the whole fungus this time. Because Resident Evil has always been about kind of like, infected people. The Las Plagas. And then it kind of made them into zombies, for lack of a better word. They weren't zombies, but for all intents and purposes, gameplay-wise, they were zombies. And I, I'm really glad that they, they evolved upon that, and they kind of brought it all back in at the end. Because I didn't know how this was going to tie into all the other Resident Evil games. And then when I started talking about corporations and everything, and then you realize Umbrella Corps were back, and Chris Redfield showed up at the end. Well, I don't know if it's Chris, he just said he was Redfield. And Chris Redfield and Claire Redfield were in all the other ones. And like Jill Valentine and all those guys. And the, the gun at the end was called Albert. And Albert Wesker was one of the characters in the old Resident Evil games. And that was his gun. That's really cool, I really like that tie-in. Um, just absolutely blown away by this game. I had really low expectations going in, and it floored me. It was really, really good. Just a good, a good video game. Very, very good. And lots of exploration, lots of cool, like, item management. Um, I, I said it before, how I really like the, the mechanic of your, your chem fluid being part of your gunpowder or your herbs. So it was like, you either make an offense or you make yourself a defense. And you could, you could figure out which one you wanted based on where you were in the game, or what you had at the time. Like, if you had more ammo, it was like, okay, I'm gonna make more health. If you had more health, like I did, it was like, okay, I'll save that for some ammo then. So you can go on the offense after a while. And I'm really glad there was monsters in it. It was just really, really cool. And it's, it did what, kind of what Alien Isolation did, which is, starts out scary. Starts out with a lot of, like, spooks, jump scares, 
tension, atmosphere, all those types of things. And then after a while, when that all kind of got repetitive and you were like, I'm not scared of this anymore, you had more weapons. So then, instead of being scared by the enemies as much, it kind of just got tense and anxious. And then you had a shotgun to blast her face off. So it turned from having to run away from stuff and it turned on its head and then it turned on you fighting everything. Which is a really cool thing. It kept the pace of it going. It kept everything fresh. And that's a very hard thing to do, and I think they nailed it. I think the pacing in this game is really well done. It didn't feel like it dragged on too long. It felt like it actually had the proper progression. We didn't come across Lucas at the end. Which I thought we were going to have to fight him. I thought he was going to be a boss. But the only bosses we had were... Basically, Jack, Marguerite, and the Granny. And I guess Mia, to some degree, at the start. And a couple of those big giant dudes were... Oh... So the people get killed down in the mine ages ago and they they were infected for a really long time kind of like the last of us the longer you're infected the the more gross and the bigger you get and the more infected I guess you get I don't know I mean I think it's all pretty self-explanatory at the end usually I like to go over theories and everything about what was going on in the game but I think the game pretty much spelled it all out that they made bioweapons that took the form of 10 year old girls, apparently, and Evelyn, who was the granny, was one of them, which I fucking called since like episode 4 and everyone was like, Jack, you, you knew this, you looked this up. I really didn't. I didn't look ahead about any of this stuff because what I, I like, episode 2 went up, episode 3 and everything kind of went up like way before I, I had any of this done. So I was like recording some of the episodes ahead anyway and I just called stuff. Like, I had the first four or five episodes, I think, recorded before anything else happened. Um, or before people had started giving me feedback or anything, but I called that so quickly because, I don't know, it's kind of like a trope that happens in these types of games. That, because we had seen this little girl and we had seen the granny everywhere, and then nobody was talking about them. It kind of just showed pictures of these characters called Evelyn that we, we didn't have any, like, nobody else talked about an Evelyn in the game. And the granny was just kind of everywhere all the time. So uh, very narrow conclusions had to come from that, that it could only be one or two types of things. So that's why I started theorizing that the little girl was the granny. And we figured out that it wasn't a case of this going on for years and years and years. It was just that she aged rapidly. Uh, I don't know why, maybe it's just a side effect of her. But she was the E series and we've learned that there was a lot of series before her. Which I thought was very cool. Um, Again, very, like, basic types of stuff, um, narrative-wise, but it, it made for a really good experience, it made for a really good story. And I like that everything at the start started out with, like, just, like, hillbillies, hillbilly cannibals in the woods. And you were like, oh, this is kind of like Texas Chainsaw Massacre, like, wrong turn, all those types of horror movies. And then... The more it evolved, the more you realize, like, more of the corporation side of things started to come in. And I'm glad that they kind of saved that for the end, because it tied it all back in to what Resident Evil is all about anyway, just in general. Um, but it kind of left the sort of intimate household hillbilly feeling for the start of the game. And it didn't ruin any of that, because if some of the corporation stuff started to come in earlier in the game, it kind of would have taken that intimacy off everything. Because I really, I really liked that it felt like just a family in the woods in their house. And then it started to expand and grow and stuff. And the pacing of that was very, very well implemented. It's a very, very good game. A very, very nice game. I'm really looking forward to playing this again. Just in my spare time. Kind of like powering through. Because I know there's Madhouse difficulty that has to be unlocked. Um, I had a review copy of the PS4 version. So I could have just played that from the start. But that was not a good idea. Um... And I, I kind of want to do some videos uh, with the PSVR because I did do the demo in PSVR but I kind of want to do some longer videos in the actual game in PSVR now that I finished it. I really regret not doing this in PSVR outright. I, that's one my one regret with this series is I didn't realize so many other YouTubers would be doing Resident Evil 7 on their channels. So I kind of regret not doing PSVR because everyone was just kind of doing the same playthroughs just with different perspectives and that's fine But so many youtubers were doing this that I feel like it kind of got flooded and then because I'm uploading like every second day People had the game already finished by the time like my second or third episode had come out so 
Not a lot of people wanted to watch this one then, because they're like, ah, we know what the series is. We know what happens, so... Seeing somebody else play it who doesn't really know what's going on kind of got a bit frustrating, so people didn't really watch this one. Which again, is fine. I don't blame anybody. I've done that myself when I'm watching YouTube. But I kind of wish I did the PSVR treatment right out the gate, so then it was a different perspective. It was a different type of playthrough. Um, because I know the Game Grumps did that, and it it's really fun to watch somebody go through the same experience, but in a different perspective, in VR. So, that's my one regret with this. Um, but I might go back if you guys want to see it and do some of the sections in PSVR. It might just be like a mega... I, I don't think I'll do the whole thing, unless people want to watch the whole thing again, because I'd fucking love to play this. But it would have to be from the start again, unless I can like power through the PSV PS4 version and then come back and start it again with like better items so we can just like speed run through it and see what some of the scares look like in VR. Because that's, that's really what I want to see. I want to see like the knife coming up close to your face and her stabbing you in the hand and all that kind of stuff. And just seeing like some of the characters like really close up and all the like this reminded me of the bugs being up close in your face. I think that would be cool in VR. Man, that was a good series. I'm really glad I played this. I'm really glad I did it on the channel. I'm really glad that I got to share with all of you. Because I think this is one of those series that's going to stand the test of time. That, as a whole, it's a very good thing. I know, I like this game. I like it a lot. I, it's, it's very rare that I play a, a game, especially a survival horror game, that I want to just get back in and play in my spare time anyway. That, normally when I finish some series on the channel, I'm like, that's done. Then close over that chapter and move on. There's very few games that I want to play in my spare time again. And this is definitely one of them. It's very, very cool. Because I want to see what it's like when you go through and you know where all the items are, and you know the passwords to all the like puzzles and everything. Uh, those kinds of things, and I want to see what it's like when you get all the items, you know what's coming next so you can save up. And I can get the Magnum first this time, and save up the ammo and just fucking blast some of those bosses away. It'll be so much fun. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope you guys had a good time. Because I definitely did, and this is one of those games that I'm definitely going to remember fondly on the channel for a very long time. I'm, I'm curious to see if there's anything after the credits. There might be, there might not be. Oh, we can skip the credits, okay. Okay, here we go. Difficulty, normal. Playtime, 8 hours and 14 minutes. Restart, 6. It's not that bad. Mr. Everywhere is destroyed, 14 hour 20. I, I heard that the Mr. Everywhere, the little bobblehead Kodama things, they don't do anything. It's just for an achievement. So that's why I didn't go hunting them down. Which is kind of sucky. I thought it'd be something like they'd unlock a cheat for like infinite ammo or something. Antique coins, 14 out of 18, not bad on one. Ah! I almost got all the files! What did I miss? 103 item boxes opened, 44 healing items, one stabilizer, and three steroids. The last thing I needed, I forgot more of the antique coins, I only needed three more, I would have been able to get the last steroid. Unless there's more and I didn't find them, but I think I got all the treasures. Unlocked, the, the Albert 01 ore will be added to the item box in the main game. Secrets of Defense will be added to the item box. Additional free content. Not a hero coming spring 2017. Nice! I do know that there's a DLC out for the game now already. Actually, I should just fucking play that in PSVR. That'd be a good idea. There's a new DLC out, but it's only on PS4 for now. It comes out in February 28th for PC, I think. So I might go off and play that in PS4 and see what that's like. I might do that in VR. Yeah, let's do that! So we can continue doing it, but from a different perspective, like I was saying. That would answer all the questions and solve all the problems. But anyway, that was the main game of Resident Evil 7. I am looking forward to getting back in and playing it again with that fucking badass blow everybody away pistol. But as I said, I hope you guys enjoyed this. I really love these longer series that I can sit down, enjoy, go through a long experience. Uncover a story, learn the mechanics of a game, and just share it with all of you, share it with the world. I really love doing those types of series. It's a shame that that's kind of dying out on YouTube. The longer Let's Play. You don't see a lot of people doing them anymore. I try to have at least one long series going all the time. And sometimes I don't do that well. And that's fine. But it sucks to see that the longer Let's Plays are a kind of dying breed on YouTube. You don't see many people doing them anymore. It's either the clickbaity games or the... 
the kind of one-off games, and that makes me sad. I like series. I like when you go on a journey with a YouTuber and you kind of stick with them and stay in the same kind of vibe and atmosphere from game to game. Instead of just bouncing from jokes to jokes. Which, don't get me wrong, it's fine if, if that's what you want to do. And there's plenty of re very funny videos out there like that. I do enjoy the one-offs myself, but I like these types of things. Because these are the ones that stick with you as a viewer and as a YouTuber. Like, I'll remember this. Any of you who've watched this entire series, I imagine you're going to remember this for a long time. Because it's just one of those things. But anyway, I'm digressing. Thank you guys so much for watching this series. If you liked it, punch that like button in the face! Like a boss! And... Bye bye, all around. Whoosh! Whoosh! Well, thank you guys, and I will see all you dudes! For the next video! Quick hop it! Ooh, hump! Hump the deer! Hump the deer! Hump it to death! Oh god, I could set on fucking fire! <laughs> awesome! What a journey, man! What a ride!